Hey guys, how are we doing? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to Trading with Dan. I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. Um, so yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin for our charts. Um, yes, yeah, so it's going to be a pretty quick video today. Basically, um, you can tell the market is uh, is just awaiting the Fed the Fed decision, and then obviously uh, the Fed comments afterwards. So uh, the Fed uh, the press conference. So you can see um, eased off a little bit into some support areas. Um, probably to be expected, since we've had a big pump up, you might want to take off some of that risk going into this number. Um, so yeah, I think we're literally just waiting to see uh, see uh, what the Fed uh, says and does. Uh, stock market, similarly S&P, just easing off into support here, as you can see. Um, the 10-year, pretty much trading sideways, and the DXY, um, had it well had it bounced above this important level of uh, of what should have been a resistance what would hope to be resistance to reject us back down but we did manage to get back above pulled back into it was supported by it again um so yeah um but we are quite close to it so ultimately we'll be awaiting waiting the fed again we'll be waiting we'll see what the fed says and does um and obviously if it is uh, bullish for the dsy we could have a pretty aggressive move as we take out this trend line continue onwards and upwards uh most likely past these recent highs obviously the flip side we take out this support we'll probably then take out this level as well come and start making our way down to 105 over the next few weeks however there will be bounces uh, at various uh, points um, on the way down there um not not much else we really want to look at the um, satoshi pairing uh, did pull back pulled back towards the bottom area of this uh, of this support so um yeah um we if we lose this level then we were looking at we were looking at obviously the next level if we do get supported here then more sideways um i guess like this will potentially also depend on the fed um if we do basically get risk off um and then maybe we'll get that uh, that historical move we normally get with um the higher the higher uh the higher risk ethereum play underperforming bitcoin so that this ratio will come down uh bitcoin dominance <clears throat> did have a big pullback from obviously our resistance area um but it's having a pullback here as you can see i mean obviously most notably from that ethereum uh move but um but yeah so um there are there are obviously it's profit taking warning signs uh, obviously people kind of waiting to see what the fed does um, going on at the moment so i mean we'll look at stochastics but again um um i think uh whatever the fed says and does is going to be the driver um four hour um well sort of looking to turn back up but even this even the stochastic is uh pretty sideways and unde undecided here 10 hour sorry 12 hour though downward pressure daily turning down from a high level by they starting to lose a bit of its upward momentum um, three day looking extremely good in the bullish zone with lots of room to run um, five day looking good down here as well weekly looking good uh, and bi-weekly turning up from a low level um, the monthly uh, which we're waiting for that new tick on um, as we can see um, has basically uh, looking like it's turning back up as well so a pretty powerful signal there obviously not going to play out uh, immediately uh, but maybe over the next few weeks um, may start to really get us some uh, get us some uh, bullish momentum and then yeah the good time the good times could be back but first and formally first, first and foremost um, let's see what the uh, Fed decides to say today I mean part of me I have obviously given up trying to trying to guess or second guess what the Fed is doing and doing what their plan is but does feel a little bit like they kind of uh, sent certain fed people out to juice the markets um, before um, to give them leeway basically uh, for then uh, basically Jerome Powell to to, to do his uh, his best uh, Volcker impressions but the guy in Volcker the guy's a clown um, so he should know that um, but yeah um, that's what it kind of feels like they've given them they juiced it up a bit beforehand going to their uh, their uh, their silent period um, before the actual uh, Fed uh, meeting, um, well, not the Fed meeting, but the the release of what of what they say, the the the, the speech, and then obviously the decision, um, and which will then obviously give them leeway to whack markets to the downside. That would be my guess, but like I said, I I've kind of given up trying to make these guesses, but. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that is what's happening. So yeah, that is it guys. Remember this is not a financial advice I'm not a financial advisor quick video today because like I said, we're just sitting and waiting at the moment um, But yeah, remember this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and I shall speak to you guys soon